The Soybean School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Pride Seeds, Ingenia Herbicide, and Cruiser Max Vibrance Beans. Hi, I'm Bernard Tobel. Welcome to Real Agriculture. Today I'm down at Kearney Planners talking to Colin Tinline about meters. Brushes, plates, simulation, you got to get these things right. We've got some tips from Colin. Here we go. So just a quick discussion on meters here. There's plenty of different meters, different varieties, different ways they work. Um, what I want to do is start with a basic meter. This is uh, the classic Kinsey brush meter. I mean, um, for planting soybeans, cotton, Milo, things like that. But let's just, let's just concentrate on soybeans for a minute. Uh, this is a classic style meter, uh, relatively maintenance free, relatively easy to operate. One thing I want to just quickly talk about as we take this thing apart here, As you can see, this meter was stored with the, brush, with the plate inside. Number one maintenance tip for these, always take the plates out. As we can see here, this, this uh, brush is severely matted. We'll want to check that these are standing up nicely, that this is standing up nicely, and that everything's just uh, all right inside of here. As you can see here, we've got two plates that are very worn. You can start to see the shape of a soybean in here, and that what happens is the, the lead into this starts to fade away and our, and our feeding suffers. The main thing I want to talk about with these, we have our classic black plate and our classic blue plate. These are typically, the uh, blue plates are from 1,400 to 2,200 seeds per pound, and the black plates go from 2,200 up to 4,000 seeds per pound. What happens when we're on the cusp of that? What happens when we're near that 2,200 seed per pound mark? If anyone uh, is like myself, I've experienced this personally, we'll have some of the bigger ones in that mix be stuck into our, our smaller plate here, causing a skip every time, and when I go to the blue plate, then what happens is all my smaller ones make doubles and my population is high. Uh, Kinsey has come out now with a, a brush meter 2.0. Gone are the uh, finger numbing wing nuts and we've gone to a, a quarter turn lock. But what I want to really talk about is this guy here. This is a tan plate, this is a 54 cell, and its job or its uh, seed count is between 2,000 and 3,000, right in the sweet spot. And what we are finding with a lot of people is this is exactly what's needed to remedy that problem. The thing to note here, we can put a retrofit kit into your old meter for about $90 a row, and that gets you all three plates, the black, the blue, and the tan, and the new center hub. It's a simple matter of changing a roll pin, and we can put this guy in here with our classic meter. Next up, I guess, in our progression, we got into some vacuum meters. This is a Kinsey EdgeVac meter. Um, you know, fairly maintenance-free as well. We've got some wall brushes and things in here to look at. There's some lines here on, on this cover, and the main thing to keep in track is when these lines are gone, this cover is worn out, and as well as the plate. But what I really want to talk about is a little bit of vacuum meter maintenance, and let's go to our more updated meter here. This is a Kinsey 4000. It's very similar to other vac meters of the trade. Uh, the number one thing we want to check is this seal right here. We want to make sure this seal is supple. We want to make sure it's flexible. And also we want to do a very good look along for any cracks or abrasions or pinch marks. We're always taking this cover off and on, off, on, off, on when we're changing varieties and cleaning out. This is the number one issue that we run into. Our second issue that we run into here is our ejector wheel. These little stars, this is the wrong one for this plate, these little stars here are going to run inside of our holes and they're going to knock out any debris that's left inside. So we want to check that these are in good working order and that this here is not broken off. Next, as we remove our plate and we look inside, the plate here is runs on the singulator right here. This is a good spot to look. We want to check around here for wear. We want to check that our holes are not being elongated. The other thing is a lot of times we'll find this is full of seed treat as well as our seal. It's uh, relatively good practice to just use some mild soap and warm water, clean these up at the end of the year. When we look at our singulator, on this particular singulator, you'll see there's two raised notches on either end here and the center is lower. That's our wear indicator. As this comes to as this wears in the field, our, our plate will eventually start to rub on here, and that's a sign that our singulator needs to be replaced, as well as these. When these are half the thickness here of the original, then they need to be replaced. What I want to do now is talk a little bit about corn meters. This is still our tried, tested, and true. This is still the most popular meter we sell. This is a finger pickup. It's, you know, been around for a long time. I just want to quickly do a quick talk about life expectancy on some of these. Again, we want to test these every year. 
Uh, just quickly though, um, our seed brush here, we're looking at 100 row acres on that brush for replacement. On our finger set, we're looking at 600 row acres for replacement. And on our back plate here, we're looking at 250 row acres for replacement. These things are set. There's a torque here, it's very important. The other thing we wanna do, we wanna spin this around and just have a look-see at our belt every year. Make sure it's nice and supple. Make sure that it's not missing any, any fins. Make sure there's no cracking. I got an example here that's quite extreme, but this is a belt out of an old seed meter. Just something to keep in mind. The main thing to remember here, guys, is the meter is more or less the heartbeat of the planter. You know, uh, precision planting claims that 1% singulation can equal plus or minus two bushels in the field. So, so let's get our meters checked today. Give us a call. Give your local dealer a call. Let's get these looked at before we head to the field.